<laughs> That's so cool. I've never seen hair like that before. If you go 2,000 kilometers north of Brisbane and 1,500 kilometers east of Papua New Guinea, you'll come across a beautiful chain of a thousand islands called... The Solomon Islands! I'm here in my 154th country and the start of my three-week trip around the Pacific Islands. Everybody knows that this part of the world has beautiful beaches and swaying coconut trees, so I'm not going to bore you with that content over the coming weeks. <laughs> what you can expect to see is the unique culture and local life that exists on each island, which I'm very eager to explore. We're here at the Central Market or the Main Market in Honiara. What I find most unique about the Solomon Islands so far is that some of the locals have this amazing blonde hair. At first, I thought it was fake or dyed, but then I realized that it's 100% natural. <laughs> it's natural. All of you have natural hair? When I think of blonde hair, I think of Sweden or Russia or the US or Australia. Basically all countries with native white people. But in the Solomon Islands, people here are of Melanesian descent and mostly have darker skin. A quick Google search led me to a study by Stanford Medical School. It discovered that blondes make up 5 to 10% of the Solomon Island population and the gene was not passed down by European explorers or traders. It's a completely homegrown genetic strand that only exists here. I think the baby has blonde hair too. Yeah, Oh does. my god, look at that. He has blonde hair. Jo -jo. That's the next generation of blondes right here. Why? Well, they don't exactly know. Maybe it's the sun exposure or their heavy diets of fish. Pulled over on the side of the road here to get some grilled fish and cassava. But whatever the reason may be, it's so cool to witness this bright blonde hair on people with dark skin. More stories coming from the Solomon Islands tomorrow. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.